Hey everyone, so this video is going to be about how to resolve your address conflict in ethos if you have multiple addresses and BIOS names for your GPUs on your rig. This is most commonly happens when you have a lot of GPUs running such as on the rig I have going right now. And I'm going to show you how to do this. It's a little bit complicated but if you follow my step by step instructions you should be alright. Um, that is not to say that everybody will be alright, so be very careful. Here we go. So here we got the ethos screen. We have it, you can see the two zero zeros. It actually oh we got one there too. It actually shut down because what is going on here is I actually have an Asus eight gigabyte running and an Asus four gigabyte running. So they since they have the same BIOS names, we have a conflict. So all the settings are are from the eight gigabyte are set and they're applying to the four, which is shutting it down because the four can't have the same settings as the eight gigabyte version. Same thing with my MSIs. I have two MSI 4 gig, and the MSI 8 gigabyte settings are conflicting with that. So go to your IP address, log into your ethos. I already did. Type in sudo, and I'm typing with one hand here, so I apologize. It's not very fast. sudo nano local dot c o n f config enter. Now you can see here that I have my settings applied. So I got two ACES Strix. That's not where the conflict is arising. My conflict is arising, number one, from this ACES Dual 8 gigabyte. So this D00919i2 is actually the same exact address as my ACES 8 gigabyte. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down that address because I want to make sure that I use the proper settings to reconstruct my 4 gigabyte. So you actually have to go into the BIOS and change the hexadecimal settings in the BIOS itself. I'm going to change it by one digit just so I don't get too sloppy. It only needs to be changed by one digit for ethos to recognize it uh, so I can apply different settings towards that one. So uh, I'll be right back once I write down my addresses for my cards, which you you could see on your main screen of the ethos um, if you're actually on the computer that's plugged into the rig, but I'm not right now. So write down your addresses that are conflicting, and I'll show you the next step after that. All right, here's my rig. I did have a number of cards switched out. I did not like those Asus uh, four gigs at all, although I kept one because the fan broke and I couldn't return it to Amazon. Um, so. It's only at a 12 GPU rig right now. It will be up to 16 eventually uh, when card prices come down. So here's my rig. Uh, as you can see, I shut down the 10. I have it all opened up. And here's the key element here I want to show you. We got zero hash on this Elsmere RX 580 MS V34113. Well, why is that? Because we have, and that hash rate's down a little bit. Usually it's at 29. but because we have this 580 MSV 34113 same exact address as the 4 gigabyte. So the 4 gigabyte shut down because it can't run the same settings as the 8 gigabyte. Same thing with this one here, 580115D009PI2 because we have right here our 8 gigabyte and that's the Asus running. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the address of these two that shut down, actually three, because I do have two MSIs and uh, they are four gigabytes, so they're shut down because of that. Also, I do want to modify these XXXs. These are both for, uh, no, they're both eight gigabytes, but I don't like that they're the same address. I want to be able to tune each one individually, and as you can see, this one runs better than that one, even though I have them at a lower setting now until I can play with them. But this is what you want to match up before you attempt to flash the BIOS name. All right. So even though I haven't made a YouTube video on flashing the BIOS for modding the timing, there are plenty of YouTube videos out there, so I don't see this as necessary. But I have not found any YouTube videos flashing the name of the BIOS, which is a completely different process from changing the timing, because Polaris BIOS Editor doesn't allow you to change the name of the BIOS itself. You have to use a hex editor. So what I have here, this is my computer that I use for flashing GPU. This computer is just a old Dell that I bought for like 90 bucks changed uh, the power supply a little bit and um, I'm gonna use it to flash just like I used it to flash all the other GPUs so this is what I'll be using I'm gonna show you how to install the program the hex editing 
software uh, to change the name of the BIOS. So while I'm in here, I do have one card that does need the timing on the BIOS flash to say you can mod the BIOS. Um, I will show you this even though there are multiple videos out there already, but I'll show you a quick way. Here we go. First you want to go to Tech Power Up Z. This is running Windows 7, very old computer, so I apologize if it's very slow. Use your GPU Z. Here it is. This is the Asus in here, 4 gigabyte. And you can see all the settings, blah, blah, blah. Go ahead and sit, hit save to file, which I already have a file saved, but I'm showing you how to do this. Takes a while with this old computer. Okay. Original. And I'm saving my original here. This is my Asus. Four gigabyte, and I'm putting it in my slot number. 15. Oh. This is your original BIOS being saved. I like to put slot numbers just for simplicity in case I need to refer back later. Okay, that's saved. Open up your add a flash, win flash, run as admin. Yes. I'm going to open it up, bring you up the timing settings. I'm sorry, wrong one. You want to open your Polaris BIOS editor. <laughs> The win and a flash is the last step. Okay, open the file I just saved. And it is documents, GPU, BIOS, original, and it is. Which one was it? It was. Let's see, today's 13th. Yeah, that one. Slot 15. Opening. Here's your timing straps. This is all you want to mod for simplicity's sake. I'm sure you could get more into it, but this is not going to go that much into detail. For four gigabytes, this is important. You want to make sure that your four gigabyte is only modded from your 1500 to your 2000 strap. Your eight gigabyte only requires 1750 to 2000 strap. I wrote that down from somebody else's video. Uh, give them credit for that. There's a lot of videos out there that do the same thing. So go ahead and hit Control A. Highlight that whole 0, 1500 row, control copy, and you simply go down to every row after, hit control A, control V, next one, 1750, control A, control V, next one, control A, control V. Now you have your 1500 through your 2000 modded. Save that, and save it as your original name plus modded so that you know it's modded save boom close it up now open the one I told you falsely to open before and this is very simple because you only have one card in your computer so you're not gonna mess them up I'm gonna load that file that was modded Doot. Da -da -da -da. I got so many, I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh, I should have saved it in the modded folder, but I saved an original. Whoops. You get the point, though. There's the file. Hit program. Don't touch anything. Let this baby do its thing. About a minute or two is all you need. Flash, flash, flash away. Okay. And you can see I had to take my whole rig down because like it shut down while I'm taking a card out. Successful. It does want you to reboot. I'm not going to reboot right now because I need to mod the BIOS again. Now, this is what you want to do. Here on my... Oh. I lost my flash drive. I'll be right back with my flash drive. Okay, I'm back. So what you want to do is in, download this Hex Workshop. It's called Hex Workshop. Just Google it. Um, you do need internet connection, but I don't have it on this computer. I could get it, but I already did some pre-work here. And I downloaded the setup application that I need without the internet. Because if you download the initial, I think it's a zip, you will need internet connection to download the remaining file. So I'm loading that baby up. 
and I'll be back and show you how this hex works. Okay, so you do need a device that's connected to the internet anyway. I was wrong. So let me get internet con connection. Okay, Hex Workshop Download Manager. Once you connect to the internet, you'll get this pop up. Um, yes, accept. Downloading software then. Okay, I clicked on my Hex Workshop. Once it was installed, here's what it looks like. Hope you can see this alright. I'm on a GoPro. I'm going to maximize it. Alright, so now, once you're in the hex editor, open up the file that we just modded. Oops, that's right. I saved it accidentally in original. Okay, 15 gigabyte modded ROM. Open that up. Okay, so usually your address is going to be at the very front. These are the hex numbers involved in the program of the BIOS. Don't actually act, don't ask me what they mean, because I only know a little bit about hex, but not too much about programming in it. This is your address here that's conflicting. So what I'm going to do, I'm only going to change one digit. I think I'll change this zero here. You can't actually backspace on it. You have to highlight it. And then I'll change that zero to a, say a two. Changing it to a two. It's as easy as that, guys. Um, if you wrote down your numbers that were conflicting, which I did here, it's the eight gigabyte has the same number. Go ahead and save. Uh, let's say yes, why not? Okay. I wanna make sure that's saved. Let me check my documents here um, it is 231 231 yep it's saved that modded file dot rom with that new hexadecimal address so that is good now we'll go back into our ATI win flash run as admin and kind of the same procedure as if you mod the BIOS, only we're changing the name here. Takes a while to open in this old computer. There we go. Load image. Documents. Go back to what you just did. And make sure that you don't change that backup file. I did say that backup file just in case, uh, but we're not going to use it. So save your ROM file. Open that. open and hit program just as you did before when you change the timing straps uh oh hold on a second okay so here's where I got an error uh, you're gonna want to be aware of this what you need to do as uh, hex workshop has a checksum error that pops up because you changed a value in the BIOS name what you want to do is open up that file again in Polaris BIOS editor run as admin of course like you did before open the file and I've already done this just to make sure. It'll say that you had an invalid checksum error in a dialog box here. Uh, don't change anything, you already did. You go ahead and save it again, just as the file you did. Um, it's gonna say, do you wanna, yes I do. Because it's correcting that checksum error, Polaris BIOS editor does this automatically for you. Then go back to your add a flash. And now you will see, and I hope that the error is resolved. It should be. There we go. Modded ROM, open, and hit program. Take your hands away from all keys, and look at that. No more error. We have successfully changed the BIOS name. And previously to that, we did the timing flashing of the BIOS for our rig. I'm glad that I had one card that I didn't flash already so I could show you guys that. A little added bonus if you will. Go ahead and I'm not going to reboot. I'm going to shut down my computer here because this card is done and ready to go back into the rig. Alright, I'm back after some Windows updates that took about 45 minutes. I hate those Windows updates so you might want to disable them. So here we go. Got the computer shut off. Turn off your power supply. Wait till all lights are shut off. Unplug your GPU power unit. Take out your 
HDMI hookup if you have one. And then simply take your GPU out. Okay, I got my GPU out. I placed it right here. And I am going to simply put my mounting screw back in and put it all back together for startup. Okay, my rig is just now booting up, or actually did boot up. It's now starting to hash. I can hear the fans kicking on, and as you can see, let me get rid of this screen here. Oops. Close window. And now you can see that my Asus that I modded, remember before it was a D009, that's the 8 gig. And remember I changed that 0 to a 2? There's the 2. We now do not have any more address conflict. We can now and go back into our uh, nano config. Oops, one handed again. sudo nano local dot conf. Right there. And now I can proceed to copy the same format that I have. So, what I can do is I can go in. And, and then instead, here I'll just, well you can't copy in EthOS, so you have to kind of look at it and type it in again. But I'll make a uh, commented out section for my other card, which is the 4 gig, not the 8. And instead of this address here, I'm going to have D029PI2. So, why don't I just go ahead and do that here since I'm doing it. And I'm going to comment out, I'm going to go one-handedly again, Asus. Oh, it's hard to type with one hand. And I'll label this better, but I'm doing this quick for the video. 4 gig of, oh, 4 GB. Da 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 da. And then you just proceed to enter your settings in, just like above. 115. Oops. 15. Dash. D zero and then remember the one I want to program now is not a zero zero it is a zero two niner P whoops ah I hate this one-handed stuff I two one oh one now I can individually set my Asus four gigabyte card separately from the Asus 8 gigabyte car which had the same address previously. Uh, go ahead and now the, you're gonna have different settings now and you gotta kind of play around with it because it is a 4 and not an 8 gig. So this worked out for the 8 gig which you can see here is getting 28.72 hash approximately. It might go up too, I just started. And you want to copy all these settings again for your separate 4 gigabyte keeping in mind the address. Always write it down. I did write it down. See, I changed this two here, two, and just so you can keep track of everything. But that's how you do it, guys. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'm not really a professional YouTube editor yet, so make sure you. I've seen everybody else do this, so why not? Make sure you hit subscribe below because I'm always putting out new videos, and uh, my content's gonna get a lot better. I'm doing this a lot more. So thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, questions. Put them in the comments below. I love to answer questions. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope this helped you out.